Yes. Thank you. I'm going to keep my learning safari jacket on. I hope I get extra credit for that. Um, and a big shout out to my um, PE cohort from last night. Where are you guys? Really enjoyed. Yeah, I really enjoyed chatting with you. I'm obviously not a PE teacher. I got winded going up the stairs. But, um, what I am is I'm a technology coach, and um, I've been doing it for about ten years now. Um, and kind of, it's taken me like ten years to come up with five things about being a technology coach. It's pretty lame, really. But uh, I'm going to see what you think about it, and uh, maybe you'll agree. With me. And maybe you'll come up with your own five things about whatever you're doing in your school. The first thing I'm going to come up with is some teachers will think you do nothing. <laughs> All right, some, some, some. I see you, some might agree with me there. Um, so this might come about from just starting off in your school and you haven't forged the relationships yet. You um, haven't kind of garnered like the concept of what um, what you do as a technology coach. You know. Um, to be honest with you, I think every day in my school some teachers think that I don't do anything. I like to call it having lunch. You know? um, I usually just do my Homer Simpson impression and go, can't talk, ED. So, um, kind of leave me alone then. So how do I combat this situation? Three things. Be visible, be proactive, and be approachable. So, let's move on to number two. We don't know everything, alright? Straight away. We might know something after a while. Um, so take for example, you come to me and you're saying that you're doing a science project and you're kind of, um, you're working on about how a spaceship can you kind know, of successfully get into orbit. You know, I'm not going to know what technology tools straight away to use with that um, project. Literally, I'm not a rocket scientist, you know. So, um, you know, but so how to combat that situation? Um, you've got to kind of set your, set your kind of um, planning norms. You've got to kind of, you kind of have to make sure your expectations about plan, collaborative planning meetings are actually clear and everybody has to realize that at the end of a collaborative planning meeting what you're going to come away with. You know, be very clear about that. <coughs> if you don't have empathy, you're in the wrong job. All right? So my first job back in Ireland, any Irish in the crowd? Not saying anything, you just put your hand up? That's not very Irish. <laughs> You're Irish? Yeah, there you go. Yoo hoo they let us into another country. <laughs> um, so my first job back home in Ireland was um, selling computers to unassuming farmers. So um, that's, yeah. And they would come in to me, and I kind of found out straight away that I wasn't really a good salesperson, because one, I was honest, and two, I had empathy. So I kind of, so if an unassuming farmer came in to me and went, uh, how are you doing? So there's an Irish accent of a farmer, that's how they speak. Um, how are you doing, sir? Uh, sir? Um, I'm looking for a computer to do me Word documents and my tax forms or whatever. I couldn't find it in myself to actually sell them the you know, Dell Magnetron 5000 Infinity Deluxe Plus for like $8,000. I just couldn't do it. I just, I just found it in myself that I couldn't really do it. So um, I'd like to thank my mum and dad for actually instilling that empathy in me growing up. And I'd like you all to know that I care about you all very much. <laughs> so um, how, would I, how would I combat this scenario in my school? You know, you have to differentiate for teachers, just like we do for our students. We have to kind of prod and cajole our reluctant teachers into doing step-by-step -step, uh, technology activities. And we actually have to kind of push our tech-savvy teachers into kind of, you know, um, to, rolling on their, their skills and kind of building on the, on the skills that they already have. Number four, it's okay not to be wanted at times. So this comes from, you know, you, you get new teachers in every year and they have different skills. And it, you, you might, as a technology coach, go into a classroom and find that they're using a tool that you didn't even think about introducing. That's fine. Um, how, how, would, how, do you con how do you combat this scenario of like not feeling wanted? Don't, don't combat it. Embrace the skills, embrace the knowledge of the teachers that you have in your school. Don't hide under your desk, uncontrollably weeping and feeling unloved, you know? Because actually, if you do that, some teacher might walk along and go, hey, you look like you're not doing anything in there. So, you know, that's, don't do it. All right, so my last one, I'm gonna preempt this by saying I'm gonna fall on my own sword here, perhaps. It's up to you to judge this. Five, you better present well. I'm not saying 
that you have to be Sir Ken Robinson or anything like that, but you're going to have in your job times where you have to stand up in front of your faculty and present something that might be challenging to some teachers and might actually be hard to swallow, it might be a new tool, it might be a new platform, it might be a new technology vision, a vision of learning and teaching. Um, so how to combat the scenario, kind of go to conferences, obviously learn from the best, look at TED Talks on YouTube, basically blatantly steal from other people and just use them as your own, you know, why not? Everything's a remix, right? So that's five things, behold, the five commandments, not commandments, the five things about being an ed tech coach. My challenge to you is, my mission to you is, if you choose to accept it before it explodes, you, by the end of this, because I took 10 years to actually do five things, if you could do it in two days, make it your own, put it on whatever platform you want, may not, may not be an ed tech coach, five things about your position that you actually think are important, that would be awesome if you could, it was mentioned earlier that we was a conference sharing, so, we could all come up with five things about our rule and share them, hashtag learning too, that would be awesome. For the Irish in the crowd, go on my gut. For the English in the crowd and English-speaking people, thanks very much.